Alright, so what is going on YouTube? This is Sam from Team Samurai X1 here and today guys, I got you guys a, a wonderful Top 32 uh, Toronto Regionals today. It was a really big event, 9 rounds and you went 7-2 with spirals, uh, which is really, really crazy. So how did that work out for you? Um, like, uh, it was kind of odd because a lot of people didn't know how to side against it. Yeah, exactly. Like, That's what we hear from a lot of people, but like, I don't know, the deck was like, kind of like, it was just really funky and like really weird, but like, it, it just kind of worked together, like eventually. Yeah. Like a lot of it just like, a lot of combo set pieces, but when you went off, you really just went off. Yeah, and uh, I was walking around and I seen boards where you spamming Nat Beast and stuff, which yeah. is really insane. Yeah. Like I had like three or four like pendulum matchups again today, it was, it was just insane. Wow, like, okay, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Alright, so uh, without further ado, let's just start with your deck profile real quick. Alright, so... We played three agent. This guy's like probably the best card in the deck, I would say. Like coming to the second guy real quick. Yep. Um, but he was so pivotal in that like he was one of those key combo pieces that if you were able to get him onto the field, your combos extended so much more. Nice, nice. That's uh, awesome. So your quick fix. Quick the fix. fact that he's not once per turn this is the most broken thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, he just keeps adding cards to your hand. He builds right. your engine. Uh, quick fix also like since he keeps adding cards, you can just keep him bringing him back. Same thing with uh, the other cards I'm about to show you. Just one of the drone. Uh, he's it's okay. Sometimes you just need things to beat over. Um, so like if you can't beat over something, you just get an agent onto the field with the uh, mission. Uh, sorry, not the mission, but the field spell up. And then when you get him out, stack the stack cards, get the agent out, and then how many cards you have on the field, you just beat over whatever they have. Nice. Uh, one master plan. It's just to search out what, uh, your mission assault, which you'll come to later. Um, but really big booty. Really hard to get over. Sometimes when I was like behind a couple games, I would just. Summon this with uh, the premature burial, the theme premature burial, and I would just sit on it. Nice. And it was able to give me a lot of turns to get back in there. So that's about it for the Spiral Monsters. Okay. Uh, for our Resonator engine, so, so we play yeah. the Synchro Resonator, three red Resonators. So how is this engine? It's like, actually, it's just, it, it's the only way, way to play Spirals right now until the next set comes out. Um, but like, this was like the key style, uh, uh, key starters. So when you had red Resonator just with uh, Quick Fix, and not the drone because you need the quick fix to search. Uh, this would just, if you had this, you, you were good. You were good. Just you, all you need is these two. Cards. Oh, so, so it's basically like, like, a, like a two card combo kind of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go into the extra deck and you'll see exactly what I mean. Yep. Uh, but that's all, you, that's all you basically need. Uh, so that's it for the Resonator engine. We played two Max C's because I don't really main Twin Twisters in this deck anyway. So the way I thought about it was like, okay, if I go second, uh, the only way I'm gonna come back is if I draw a max C or they may or they break. So yeah. I figured whatever, I won't always win the die roll, whatever, just keep the max season. Uh, now your tuners, one glow bulb, one jet synchron, one esper grill. Okay, so glow bulb's pretty standard. Like it's just it's a make nap piece, pretty easy. Uh, we play Excel Synchron in the extra deck, so this is uh, this is necessary. And this is coming up for another card you'll see in just a second. Nice. Um, so we have our three resort. This card's insane. Recycle uh, Synchro Monsters back. Key Engines, Formula Synchron. Uh, basically anything you need, you can bring it back. Instant Fusion, Norton. It's it's crazy. Like and th this is so annoying for like players like players because we summon Spiral Monsters. They can't target them. Really, that's so they, pretty sick. So they can't Karma Cut them. They can't Book a Moon them. They can't you know. It, it, it's just it's just really annoying because you can just make a full spiral board and then you just can't play it. Nice. Uh, you got your three resonator calls. You kind of need to see your engine, so this is a pretty much pivotal. Just search out your cards. Uh, your three big reds. Your premature, premature barrier, man. This is yeah. broken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially when they we pre-search it against like a, let's say back road deck because you have your agent in graveyard. It's just free. It's just free pop. It's just really good. Uh, only two instant fusions. You didn't want to see this like you didn't want to brick with this a lot because because a lot of your combos like revolved around a lot of things. But this was like a key combo extender. This made like insane boards. Nice. Uh, only double cherry forming because field spell is great, but you don't want that just in your hand. Uh, now the one of cards I played, uh, one foolish burial. It unbricks hands. One mission assault. Uh, you can banish this from graveyard to summon any kind of spawn monster you want. So one of the key com uh, combos is like having Jet Synchron in grave and then pitching this, and then you can just uh, banish this from your graveyard and summon like Master Plan or any other spiral you want. So it was really really good. So for the Esper Girl, we played the one Itelli. So the way the combo, like the way you want to summon the Goya Defenders that were on the uh, in the extra deck, is that you want your Red Resonator and your Quick Fix. But sometimes that's not available to you. So you so want to have a bit more of an option. So, so Itelli is like another. It summons your Esper to level 2 tuner and just your quick fix, and you can go right to your combos nice. immediately. The one up start because you could, uh, and the one for Awesome. Yeah. 
So your traps real quick. Uh, so you need something just to back up your place. Nice. If you were able to make an piece, this is like absolutely insane. So you can make nap piece and set warnings, strikes, GG, barriers. Man. Sorry? It's GG, man. Uh, no, yeah, unless they yeah, have the kaiju, yeah, of course. It's like, uh, I, I can, like, there's, like, they need to have the kaiju out, or you can just simply win. Like, it's yeah, ABCs, that's correct. Zones, whatever, it doesn't matter. Because these these cards will protect you. They can't pop your back row, so it's like, whatever. Nice. Um, so that's it for the main deck. Did you want the side yes, deck? Yes, let's go through the side deck quickly, and then we'll go uh, to okay, the action. Okay, so... Uh, side deck, uh, 2 DD Crow. Um, this is just for like those odd key matches where I need to banish things to the graveyard. Great against Paleos, uh, great against ABCs. You don't want them to see the Buster. You can't play under Buster. It's really stupid. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of like kind of a filler card. Plus, uh, the resort loves hand traps because you want to see these things in graveyard to keep resort up. It's a yep. mandatory thing to shuffle one back. Nice. So as long as you have hand traps, it's perfect. Uh, the one Regeki, uh, very standard, just. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, the three Ghost Ogres. Really cool. Beautiful, man. Yeah, Italian. I fucking love them. Uh, so, uh, really, really cool cards. Uh, and the great thing about this is that since I run Italy, I can also just have this on the yeah, field. Yeah, correct. It's great. So, like, sometimes uh, I get some medical player. I went first. I saw Italy, but I didn't see Ghost Ogre. So, I just set the Italy instead. Mm. And then when on their turn, when they attempted to go off, on their, on their the, as soon as they activated the scale, I would chain the Italy, summon this on field, and then they would attempt to pop, and I would just chain, blow it up. And then nice. So Ghost Ogre is great. So the number one hate of this deck is that Paleo matchup is the hardest matchup because you cannot play under all these traps. So we hated like them so hard. So Jeez. we put in three Cosmic Cyclones, three Twin Twisters. This is all we sided out. Oh, uh, we sided in, sorry. That's, That's crazy, the, man. The main deck. Doesn't matter how your combo works, you can play Spirals normally and just take out all their back row. And then for the ABC matchups, we play System Dance. Awesome. That's pretty much it. So let's go after your extra deck real quick. All right. Awesome. Thank you. So MVP. Beautiful. That beast, absolutely. Yeah. So sparkly, man. Oh, yeah. DT is the best. Uh, sure. Oh. Archeon winning games against Paleos. It's Jeez. broken. Uh, can't play without Trisha. Yep. Beautiful, absolutely too, man. Insane. Your whole, your whole deck comments. is beautiful. What, what's going on? <laughs> uh, Excel Synchron. Is, I didn't know this had the formula Synchron effect until I actually read it. And then really? I was like, that's broken. So you can just leave it as a level 4 with a spot agent and make Omega on their turn, make whatever on their turn. It's, it's just cool. Speaking of Omega, Omega. Uh, uh, core Dragon is necessary because sometimes you don't open up the level 1, but you open the Red Resonator and like an agent. So you just need to play. Sometimes just to make the Red Resonator summon agent, and then I make Coral Dragon, and Coral Dragon just sits there. If they break it, you draw a card, hopefully draw a combo piece, go into the next play. Uh, Crystal Wing, you level up all the way into him, and then he just... It's just a strong card. Flooring Synchron, really, really, really cool. Trisha, your opponent on your turn, like, it's it's just really good. This guy, this is your main combo piece. The, the way this guy works is you summon him once, and as long as you control Earth Warrior Synchro Monsters, you can summon him with a copy of him, and he just keeps looping. So instead of running Terra Top Engine, you just run this, and it can just go into your rank threes. Nice. And Ancient Fairy Dragon was necessary as well, because... Uh, you're a resort, right? Yeah, yeah. A resort's not once per turn, so you can just keep searching. It's, nice. it's, it's really dumb. Um, your Invoker, if you have a tuner in hand, you summon the Invoker, pitch the tuner, make the uh, synchro plays. If you don't have a tuner, you settle for Nat Beast and you make Malay of Tree, Sang Low Bulb, and I make it. And that's sick. Course, oh, yeah, yeah. That sounds amazing. And of course, you're Norton. Uh, you're, right. You kind of just need your Norton. All right, that's pretty much it. Um, can you show us like like what you're talking about, like with the combo with the Malay of Trees or the Invoker? Oh, thing? okay. So, so like, like, what would you so, usually do? So the way the way the combo usually works is that you need your you need resonators or just whatever your filler card is, your resonator calls or whatever. So oh, you, oh, oh, so this is a two card combo, right? Yeah, it's a two card combo. So if you don't, if you just have this, you go into Malay of the Trees and you settle on Nat Beast. But if you have this or another resonator call into this then you can go in for the Invoker. So you make your regular plays, make your Goyo Defender plays. You're gonna summon your Goyo Defenders, so here's your Goyo Defenders. If you don't have uh, any of these... In hand, right? Yeah, you just go straight for Melee of the Trees, send your Glow Up Bulb, and since this guy searched out one of your uh, one of your uh, Monster Reborns or your Premature Burials, the themed one, all you do is you mill the Glow Up Bulb, you summon this with the Premature uh, Burial, and you sink, and you sink for Nat Beast, and that's it. But you can always just go into more combo plays if you have these, then you just make uh, the Invoker instead, summon the Agent from deck, you can activate his effect from Grave to pitch one from hand, it's like, like say, send Glow Ball, and then have, and then you can mill one, go into for their place, formally Synchron, Excel Synchron, whatever, or you can just special summon because you have a good defender already on the field with this guy. All right, that's awesome. Yeah. That's, that's pretty sick. All right, man. Thank you so much for your deck profile. Do you have anything else you want to say? Uh, no, just shout out to Team Airmills. Uh, awesome. Yeah, shout out to Team Airmills. Yeah. Yeah. All right, awesome. This is Sam from Team Zero Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace.